Welcome back. I'm now joined by Dave Miller, owner of Superior Heating and Air. Thanks for being with us, Dave. Thank you. So it's obvious if you walk outside and look at your car that it is pollen season and it's everywhere. So with that in full swing, tell us how to avoid getting that in our house or if we do, what we can do to keep the quality of air good inside the house. Sure. Uh, it's absolutely very bad right now and uh, everybody seems to be suffering from it and seeing it. And the air conditioning systems move a lot of the air throughout the house. So it's, it's safe to say that, that they're responsible for uh, moving that pollen in other places. Uh, so you, you want to do your best to filter the air when you can to keep uh, the pollen from basically invading your, your home. <laughs> absolutely. And so how does it impact somebody's health if it is in the, in the air? Sure. Just like a bee sting or anything like that that you, you, know, you can have an allergic reaction to and, and you can give people headaches, uh, itchy eyes, runny nose, several, several things, even colds uh, and things of that nature. So, um, you know, it's, it's definitely something that you want to try to mitigate if you can. So how do we fix it? I'm guessing you have some products or services that you can re recommend so that we can take care of this problem. Sure. Every home is unique, uh, so there's not a one-size-fits-all repair, but there are a lot of options out there, and I feel that we're pretty good at, at taking care of those things if they do arise. But, you know, filtering the air is a huge uh, help, or we call them air scrubbers, things of that nature, to uh, purify the air, to catch things. Um, you know, you've noticed from time to time, colds pass from one family member to the other, it's because your air conditioning is basically sending that, you know, that stale air throughout the house. And what's the difference between an air scrubber and an air filter? Good question. Scrubbers basically try to uh, adapt the chemical makeup of living organisms um, or even dust particles by creating, uh, you know, electrical uh, polarities uh, between dust particles and things like that. So that actually kind of purifies the air, whereas a filter does exactly what you think. It catches things. It, it'll filter out the air. And obviously it can't filter everything out. So is the air scrubber a little bit more, um, you know, detailed? It'll take more out? You want a combination of both. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, you want to bring fresh air into the house. And then after that, you want to filter it and then scrub it. And then you have pre pretty much covered all of your bases and hopefully you'll go to the doctor a little bit less. Right. And are there any other services you suggest at this time of the year? As always, I, I'm always a fan of getting the system checked out. We don't, uh, we want to take care of you before a problem happens uh, versus the 90% of everybody else who calls us after something breaks when it's July 4th and right. 110 degrees outside. <laughs> and it's an emergency. Right. Yeah. So where can homeowners find information? Go to our website at, at superior.ac and uh, you can find anything you need there uh, as far as products and indoor air quality related items. Thank you so much, Dave. It was great information. Thank you for having me.